Hey guys, JMM Review here. Welcome back to the next part of the playthrough. We are doing Under the City and it's about to get tactical. So, um, I'm going to buy the Mind Thrower, which I talked about before. Uh, really because of a specific enemy, um, which is pretty much these weapons are all just there to counter different enemies, really. And let's see, I think... Did I want to buy someone else for Paul? Mm, yeah, buy a double fire and some armor. Why not? And I think that'll do for now. Did I buy armor? For, yeah. Okay, so let's go under the city. And I don't want Brat to be there. I want Cornelius. Um, Okay, so this is under the city. We are starting to get a bit more tactical here in this level. We have to um, operate a couple of switches, <coughs> which is switches, which is uh, up on top of this platform right here, which is quite high up. And the first time I played this, I didn't have a clue how to get up there. Um, there are these lifts that you have to operate. You have to by stepping on some of them and the others you operate by switch which is located here so the, I mean incubation is really a trial and error kind of game you just kind of play it oh the other thing I'll have to point out and um, the reason we're uh, turn, turn off these switches is because um, of some heating issue I don't know whether they didn't pay the rent or they didn't pay their heating bill I do not know but um, yeah we have 20 turns up in this corner if you can see we have 20 turns to do that. If we don't do that, it gets too hot and we all die, I think, is the story. Um, and there is a new enemy, which I'm going to show you right now. Here, this is the invisible guy down here. He's kind of hard to see because he is invisible. He's called a Ether, I think. Ether. And he has like got some crazy armor on him or something because he is bloody hard to kill and this this is specifically the reason why I have bought the mine thrower at this stage because the way I the tactic I have for killing these guys and it doesn't always work but it is quite effective is by throwing a landmine at their feet because <laughs> he thinks he's quite hidden there but he's really not um, and yeah basically letting him walk into it and sometimes that will kill him other times it might not but yeah so the way to get this platform up is like a bit of a seesaw action. One guy stands on one end, the other end comes up. And once he moves off that, he goes down. So I think I'll just, I know it's kind of, it leaves Brat in the open, but I'm gonna pull him out there. And I'll just uh, defend with Zozax for now. Uh, let Paul. Yeah, so here we go. Fingers crossed, I'm going to go down the left and just pray that this guy, yeah, there we go. So he steps in the mine, that's him dead. And believe me, that I made that look easy, but the first time I played this, I remember getting constantly wrecked and pulling all my men around this area and just taking out that one guy. And that is a waste of resources because, like I said, there is only, um, you know, 20 moves. But we're already on three, so you have to pretty much make them moves count and just get it done as quickly as can so one team has to be doing one thing and one has to be doing the other or you're not going to make both you know both switches basically and I'm going to move here and put on D Brad I'm going to edge forward slightly put him on D oh shit uh, yeah I forgot there was one of them down here as well um, so, you know, this will give you an example of, I'm going to remind position, and this is going to give you an example of just how friggin' hard these things are to kill. Um, okay, that's just, okay, missing doesn't help. So there's about eight shots off him. Oh, damn. Uh, I mean, again, I made that look easy, but those things are usually quite tough to kill, so that was actually quite lucky. Bring my mind throw guy over. And I'm going to use Paul to 
cover this vent the whole time. I'm gonna use Cornelius to move up when I get the chance because if I if I it's this kind of uh, level is one that if you hold back at all you're just going to get overwhelmed so really the tactic is to get move through as fast as you can you're tempted to kind of hold back a bit but trust me in the long run oh, damn it. you're much better off just piling through it as quickly as you can and I could have took Paul up with Cornelius but to be honest all he would be doing is covering this vent and he can do that from here and he could also cover over here so why not just you know leave him there basically um, and now I'm gonna have to start uh, focusing my attention on this ramp because there's another invisible skagger over there so edge forward and kill this normal guy because I don't want to waste my mine on him uh, and I'll bring Zozax down too so my mine I'm gonna place, oh damn it I can't place it yet I don't have the angle yet shouldn't be a big problem uh, oh shit Paul can't really get a shot over there so I moved him edge forward ever so slightly Always good to just edge forward and defense to be honest. Okay, so my mine I'm gonna place right hopefully at this Oh shit, there's two up there. Um whether that's two of the invisible guys or not, I don't know. No, it wasn't. Okay, that's good. actually probably a few of the normal guys just but there is definitely a, an invisible guy up there okay let's cover this thing and I'll remind position just in case this goes wrong because Yeah, there's the invisible guy. I'm worried that he's going to step here. So, just in case that does happen, I think I'll place a mine there as well. Why not? Better safe than sorry, really. There, it worked. Okay. Sometimes, I mean, the mines can be temperamental. Uh, you may get a good run and they will all work. Sometimes they they just don't, and that's just the way it is. Um, so we'll just try and make my way around. I'm trying to move, trying to like get as much ground on these guys as I can because. You know, the, the more you hang back and go on defense and all there, you're just really slowing yourself down. Uh, and I'm going to get Brat to sort of head over there pretty soon. But I, I'm quite tempted to... Um, See what's in these uh, crates around the corner here. Okay, I'll show you the, the primary function of the mine thrower, which is like a big launch shot across the map. Yeah, it's a really, really effective weapon to have, especially when you have the ammo for it too, because you can run out of ammo quite quickly, but if you have 10 shots, that's usually more than enough for any level, and if need be, you can pick up an ammo crate start heading over to this um, thing pick up some ammo and yeah, everyone's good I think I pretty much have this level uh, licked I don't really 
now that the invisible guys are all dead and I've got like 11 moves left so quite confident that I can finish this level and even get a chance to see what's in these green boxes as well. Mm, mind him. Okay. So this switch actually what it does is it moves this platform here up to the tower up there. And I'm gonna try and mine those guys just to try and I missed a couple of them. Try and give Zozax a hand here to get around. He may take a bit of damage here, but yes, yeah, he's sir. good. Uh, this would be a good time to show off, I think, the secondary function of Zozax's weapon, which is like a spread shot. It takes a couple out at a time. And I can't really afford not to, um, to get on the platform at this stage. Although there's quite a few moves left, so I'm, I may be alright. There's a mine in there. Oh, see, see what I mean about the mines? They can miss quite a bit as well. I'm hoping Brat has enough to get on. Yeah, he's enough to get on the platform anyway. And I'll use uh, Cornelius to raise the platform. And there he is up in the tower. And let's just see what's in this first. Some equipment points. And I really have to help this mine count. Nice, got all three. Okay. So that's an area cleared. Until we connect the vent again. There we go. So you can see that. Brat has a nice bird's eye view. I should have sent a sniper up here. A nice bird's eye view of the map. And he can pretty much hit most enemies. Um, and I really want to see what's in these crates before we finish. Okay, just some more ammo. Or more uh, equipment points. There's a wee mine in. I got all three. Okay, so I think I'll just use Brat now. There's some five moves left, but I'm just going to use it to end the game now. For some fun, I'm going to go first person view and flip the switch. Ready and, willing. and that's the heating off and the mission finished. So um, I hope you like that level, it's a little bit more tactical and I will be bringing you the next level soon hopefully. And again it's the heaters and it is quite a tactical level as well, you can expect to see a lot more levels like that from here on in. Um, with a lot more tactics to them and uh, I want to talk a lot more about that in the next video and I hope you enjoyed this one and I'll leave you with the narration for the next one. Oh, sorry I talked over it a little bit there. Thanks for watching guys. Urella shoved his pair of bombs down our throats and we got what he deserved. Half the damn bombs found the ventilation shafts they were looking for but the fuses were set wrong and they never detonated. They were lying all over the undercity. With the heat down here now, they're going off. We've seen a few launched under crates. Right before they go off, there's a glow. Without a drop in temperature, the whole place is gonna go. We're never gonna get a look at the Skager's incubation area. We've got the first heater spotted. We're still gonna have to move fast. <laughs>